I've created a collection of free Darktable presets to help you process infrared images quickly. Let's walk through how to use them. Are you interested in learning more about infrared photography? Check out my book. Details are at the end of the video. So download the presets from my website. The link is in the description and then unzip or decompress them into the location of your choice. Once you've done that, I'm in the dark room. You can do this first step from either light table or dark room. The first thing we're going to do is open the global presets. So if I go up to this uh, gear here that will show global presets, I want to click on that. From here, I can click on the presets tab on the left side of the screen. From here, I can import the presets. So I'll go to the lower right hand corner and select import. Now at this point, you'll want to browse to the location where you have unzipped the images and I can select one or multiple images. So for example, if I select one, I can hit control A to select all or command A on the Mac to select all of the images. Once I've done that, click open. Once you've imported the presets, you can close the global preferences window. So now that I have the presets installed, let's look at processing an infrared image with these presets. The first thing you want to do is set a white balance. I have a separate video that talks about setting a white balance in Darktable. So be sure to set a white balance first. Now let's look at how, how some of the presets work. So if I go to the module search on the right and I type in color, this will bring up the color modules. And let's start with color calibration. So if I turn on the color calibration module, one of the things that's nice is I don't even need to open the module because I'll have access to the preset hamburger menu here that exists on the right side. So if I click that, I'll see a list of the presets and down here are the presets that I have imported. So I've got the IR swap RB. So that's a channel mixer of a red and blue swap that gives me kind of a teal sky and this kind of orangey salmon-y color in the trees. If I select the next one, which is IR swap RB G to B, that's green to blue. So I'll, I'll swap the red and blue and shift the green channel to the blue channel. This will give me the purple sky and yellow trees. If I do the next one, which is the IR swap, swapping the red and blue, and then shifting the green channel to red, that will give me this teal sky with a very bright pink, pinkish red color trees. And finally, if I select IR swap RB G split, then that will take the red and the blue channels and split them. And then it will take the green channel and put 50% of the green channel into red and 50% into blue. And for channel mixer, this has a tendency to produce the most realistic looking blue skies. All right, now let's look at the presets for hue shift. So what I'll do is I will disable the color calibration module and I'll go up to color balance RGB. And if I turn this module on, and click the preset button. Now I can see a list of all of the hue shift presets that have been created. So we've got plus 30 shifting the hue just a little bit in 30 degree increments, plus 60, plus 90. You'll see a little bit of a different color shift in the trees and the sky as we go through the, the hues. 150, 180 to get you pretty close to a blue sky and then yellow trees. I can also continue into the negatives. So negative 30 will produce this look and you can pick any color combination you like to produce the most interesting color palette for your image. It really depends on the subject of your image, what you're trying to say by selecting a different color. And then as we work down to negative 180, it's, this is actually the same as positive 180, pretty much the same result. These are all of the presets. Now there's a faster way to get to these presets as well. So let me disable the color balance RGB module to get back to my original state before a color swap. So I can set up any of these presets as a quick filter. So if I go down into the lower left hand corner, I have quick access to presets. And if I click that, this will show me a number of presets that I can access quickly without having to find a module or enable a module or even select the preset through all of the details I just walked through. This is an even faster way to do it. If I go down to manage quick preset list and select that, this will open up a dialog box in which I can select which presets that I would like to be available in this list. So if I go into color balance RGB, that's the, the module that we used for a hue shift, I can see all of those presets available here. I could pick a few of these. Let me pick like say 90, 
180 and negative 90. So that gives me a selection. Maybe, maybe those are my favorites and I like the way that those look. Now I can go to color calibration and I see all the IR swap presets that have been created. So let's say I like the RB swap and I like the G split. So those are, those are the two looks that I like. So I've, I've selected those and I can close this. And now I don't have any of those modules selected, but if I go down to the quick access to presets, I can see they're now available in this list. I've got my color balance, the three that I selected and color calibration. If I pick one of those, it enables the module and sets the preset all in one click. I can select from different settings for the same module and see the different looks just from using this quick access menu. Now I can do the same thing for color calibration. I'm going to disable this module. And if I select, because I would have two color swapping happening at the same time, they would kind of counter each other. So if I select this menu, I could pick one of the color calibration options. So here is the red, blue color swap. And here is the red, blue with a green split color swap. So using these presets, you can load these up, you can get quick access to color swapping, and then using the quick filter access, you can quickly apply them to your infrared image. Are there any other ways we can speed up the processing of infrared images with Darktable presets? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about infrared photography, check out my book, Color Doesn't Exist, a practical guide to infrared photography. It's full of details for photographers at all skill levels. Now available in print and ebook editions. Check it out at infraredbook.com. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared photography journey, like, subscribe, or comment. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.